Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Today we're continuing our journey through the book of Jonah. We're going to be looking at Jonah chapter 1 verses 4 and 5 today. That's Jonah chapter 1 verses 4 and 5. Um, and I'm ta- this is called sleeping through the warning that God sends. Okay. Verse 4 and 5 says this. Then the Lord sent a great wind on the sea and such a violent storm arose that the ship threatened to break up. Verse 5, all the sailors were afraid, and each cried out to their own God, and they threw the cargo into the sea to lighten the ship. But Jonah had gone down below the deck where he lay down and fell into a deep sleep. Now, in the story of Jonah, I want you to see uh, several things here, is God sends several things throughout this story. It's not just, it just didn't uh, happen, it just didn't appear. God sent those things, okay? So he's going to see, you're going to see he sends um, um, a a vine. You know, later on at the end of this story of Jonah, he sends a vine. Then he's going to send a worm. He's going to send, you know, the heat, all that stuff. So he sends all that stuff. But this is a first warning to Jonah that God sends, okay? If you look at verse 4, it says, Then the Lord sent a great wind on the sea. Okay, and it was a great wind because it was a violent storm that arose and threatened to break up the ship. It was that bad of a uh, wind and a storm that it was threatening to break up a ship. Okay, a lot of times when I go out to um, kayak or some a kayak, um, I, I look at the weather to see what the weather is going to be like. Okay, I'm sure the sailors did the same thing. They didn't have the weather radar and, and all that stuff that we have, but they could look at the sky and know the season and and judge based on that, like, um, okay, uh, it's good for us to go out, okay? If they knew that this wind was, was coming, I guarantee you they wouldn't have gone out, okay? Um, it, you know, they were even uh, throwing cargo into the sea to lighten their load, okay? That's a bad thing when you get in that desperate of a situation that you're throwing your cargo into the sea. The only hope then is, you know, to save yourself and you're, you're broke at that point because you bought the cargo um, that you either owe money for, uh, you borrowed money for, or you used your money to buy it and, and you know, sell it in the port down the road, down the, down the sea. And so you get to the next port and you'll have an empty ship and you're like, ah, we're alive, but uh, we have no cargo, so we're broke. Um, so they, they were thrown off their cargo um, to... In verse 5, it says they threw off their cargo. Verse 4, in another translation in the Lexham English Bible, it says, And Yahweh hurled a great wind upon the sea, and it was such a great storm on the sea, and the merchant ship was in danger of breaking up. It was, you know, it was really, really bad. Okay? Now, the thing is, God sends this storm as a warning to Jonah. Okay? He... It's a warning, and it's it's so bad that the ship is going to be busted up, and they're throwing the, the cargo away. They're willing to go broke to save their lives. But Jonah goes below deck and just falls into a deep sleep. He, he just ignored what the warning God had for him, and he, he slept right through it. The thing we can learn from this today is God sends warnings to us, okay? And we can either respond to those warnings and go, oh, Thank you, God, for sending that warning. And a lot of times we're not doing that. We're not, oh, thank you, God, for sending the warning. But we respond to that warning and we change our ways, okay? Or we can ignore the warning, as Jonah was doing. Jonah ignored the warning so much so that he fell asleep through the the warning, okay? Everyone else is is, is, um, noticing the warning. The sailors were in such desperate need that they cried out to their own gods, okay? So they were like, ah, we, we need help. But Jonah slept through it. So watch out today. When God warns you, what are you going to do? Are you going to heed that warning and stop what you're doing or whatever? Whatever God is warning you about? Or are you going to ignore it like Jonah did and just eh, sleep through it? Don't sleep through that warning. Change your ways. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. We'll see you tomorrow as we continue our journey through the book of Jonah. We'll see you then. Blessings.